It started as nothing more than a flicker, barely a whisper in the data. A cold, silent speck moving far faster than anything that should have been out there. Observatories from Hawaii to South Africa picked it up first. Their alerts flooding in almost simultaneously before NASA stepped forward to confirm it. An object unregistered, unknown, and most disturbingly coming from beyond our solar system. At first glance, it looked like just another rock, a wandering traveler from the void. But then the anomalies began to stack up. Its velocity was off the charts, its path unnervingly precise, and its surface reflecting light in ways no asteroid ever could. And when scientists traced its route backward through the darkness, they realized it wasn't just passing through. It was heading straight for the beating heart of our planetary neighborhood. The James Webb Space Telescope turned its gaze toward it. And what it began to reveal was not just unprecedented. It was something we may not be prepared for. Because if it's not just a visitor, if it's something watching us, the entire definition of deep space might be about to change forever. Between June 25th and June 29th, the Atlas tracking system locked onto it. A mysterious interstellar object that would be named 3 Atlas. But unlike the countless icy wanderers cataloged over the years, 3i Atlas defied every expectation. It was moving at over 152,000 miles per hour. Yet, it followed no known orbital path. And when its origin was backtracked, it didn't point to the Kuiper Belt or even the farthest reaches near Neptune. Instead, it came from deep interstellar space, a region so remote it had likely been traveling for millennia before entering our cosmic neighborhood. The timing was the first red flag. Before 2017, humanity had never detected an interstellar object. In the short years since, we've encountered three, and each one has been stranger, faster, and more baffling than the last. Amuama in 2017 was elongated and moved with unexplained acceleration. Boris in 2019 was faster and more volatile. And now three Atlas brighter, more precise, and far more unsettling. The James Webb's instruments began dissecting its light signature, but the data only deepened the mystery. The object's reflected brightness suggested it should be massive, yet scans showed it was surprisingly small. This contradiction hinted at a surface unlike anything natural, more akin to polished metal than rock, cold yet highly reflective, possibly even hollow. Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb, who famously speculated that Amuamua could have been artificial immediately raised the same concern here. Look for non-gravitational acceleration, he urged, because if it was propelling itself, that meant intent. From the start, 3 Atlas seemed to be a cosmic hybrid, combining the inexplicable acceleration of Amuamo with the comet-like inbound trajectory of Barasov, yet fitting neatly into neither category. Its motion was deliberate, almost surgical. It was adjusting its course in small, precise increments without any detectable jets of gas, dust, or debris that would explain such changes. This wasn't a drifting rock being nudged by sunlight. This was something steering. Spectral analysis from NASA's DARD Space Flight Center shattered any remaining assumptions. The readings showed carbon-based compounds in arrangements far more consistent with advanced engineering than with natural geology. Complex electromagnetic fluctuations hinted at internal compartments or layered structures hidden beneath its surface. This was no mere lump of cosmic debris. It was a machine. And if it was a machine, it meant it had a maker. At this point, whispers began circulating among scientists across continents. Whispers that spoke not of what it was, but of who had sent it and why. Then, without warning, the flow of information stopped. Agencies that had been sharing updates, NASA, the European Space Agency, abruptly sealed their data behind closed networks. Public databases froze, observation logs went dark, and even telescope access for independent researchers began encountering technical restrictions. Journalists probing for answers were met with redacted documents and carefully worded statements that seemed more like damage control than science. This sudden blackout ignited a new theory that something had been found, something too disruptive to release without careful consideration. 
In space, silence can be more revealing than any official statement. If 3 Atlas was truly artificial, its existence could append more than just astronomy. It could challenge politics, global security, and humanity's understanding of its place in the cosmos. For centuries, the night sky had been indifferent, vast, and empty. Now, in the span of a few years, it seemed to be filling with purposeful visitors. Some scientists quietly speculated about patterns. Three interstellar objects in under a decade, each stranger than the last. Was this random, or was it the slow, deliberate unfolding of a plan? And if so, was 3i Atlas the next phase or the final one? As James Webb continued its silent vigil, a darker, more unsettling hypothesis began to take hold among those still analyzing the trickle of data. What if 3E Atlas wasn't simply passing through? What if it had been waiting, triggered to become detectable only once humanity reached a certain threshold of technology? Its exact arrival at this precise moment in our advancement seemed too perfect to dismiss. For billions of years, the galaxy had been silent. Then, almost immediately after we developed tools capable of detecting objects from deep space, something appears dot quiet, deliberate, and impossibly precise. This didn't feel like a message. It felt like an evaluation. A probe not here to talk, but to observe, maybe even to judge. The more data Webb collected, the more questions replaced answers. Was it mapping our planet, studying our defenses, or was it simply watching to see what we would do? The thought that chilled scientists the most wasn't that we had found something. It was that something had found us and had possibly been waiting for this moment all along. As engineers and astrophysicists began to dig deeper into Webb's high-resolution data, they noticed patterns that couldn't be dismissed as coincidence. The reflective properties of three atlases' surface varied in a way that resembled adaptive shielding, capable of altering its thermal signature depending on its orientation toward the sun. This wasn't random. This was controlled heat management, something spacecraft designers on Earth spend decades perfecting. The object's rotation period was consistent, almost clockwork, suggesting a stabilization system at work, perhaps gyroscopic in nature, hidden beneath its metallic shell. Even more alarming were intermittent bursts of narrow-bandy electromagnetic emissions, faint but detectable, pulsing at irregular intervals. To the untrained eye, they were a noise. To specialists in communications technology, they bore resemblance to data packets, transmissions, but to where and to whom. The deeper the analysis went, the more the line between natural and constructed blurred until the evidence tilted heavily toward the latter, and that left one unavoidable reality. If 3 Atlas was built, it was built by something or someone out there. Tracking its trajectory backward through interstellar space proved challenging, but the effort yielded yet another layer of intrigue. Its path didn't align with any known stellar system in our local neighborhood as if it had been drifting or traveling through empty space for tens of thousands of years. No home star, no clear point of launch. This raised an even stranger possibility. Three Atlas might not have been aimed at us at all, at least not originally. It could be part of a much larger network of probes released into the galaxy ages ago, silently cataloging whatever civilizations they encountered. If that were true, then it wasn't just us under the microscope. Every species with a means to spot such objects might already have been visited, and that begged the question, why reveal themselves to us now? Was it a cosmic accident that our instruments caught it? Or had the moment been engineered? The timing nod at researchers because it seemed almost scripted as if the universe, or something within it, had been waiting for the curtain to rise. Inside government labs and space agency control rooms, the debate wasn't about whether 3 Atlas was real. It was about what to do next. Some argued for direct active scanning to send a powerful radar pulse or laser communication toward it, hoping for a response. Others warned this could be catastrophic, likening it to shouting into a dark forest without knowing who or what was listening. 
The James Webb team, though officially neutral, continued to push for silent observation, quietly mapping every subtle change in the object's speed, spin, and thermal output. Behind closed doors, the question loomed. Were we prepared for the consequences of acknowledging its presence? And if it was already aware of us and intentionally watching, would any action we took make a difference? The tension was palpable because the wrong move could turn a silent observer into something far less passive. Then came the anomaly that would fracture even the most cautious scientific minds. In early data from Webb's infrared instruments, analysts spotted a faint repeating heat fluctuation so precise it formed a mathematical sequence. Not random, not chaotic, but patterned, almost like an encoded signal written in temperature variations. The sequence was prime number based, a signature that in the search for extraterrestrial intelligence has long been considered a hallmark of artificial origin. If this was deliberate, then 3 Atlas wasn't just observing, it was communicating, albeit in a language far subtler than radio waves. And that realization sent ripples of unease across every team still privy to the data. Because if the message was intentional, then there was no denying it. Something out there knew we were watching, and it had chosen this exact moment to answer. In the end, as 3 Atlas continued its silent, unwavering journey deeper into our solar system, the truth became impossible to ignore. This was no chance encounter. Whether it was a probe from an ancient civilization, a relic of a technology older than humanity itself, or something beyond even our most advanced theories, one fact remained. It was here. It was deliberate, and it had chosen its moment with unnerving precision. The James Webb Space Telescope, designed to peer back in time billions of years, had instead forced us to confront the here and now and encounter not with distant galaxies, but with something sharing our present. For decades, we have gazed into the void, believing ourselves the explorers, the seekers, the observers. But 3 Atlas has inverted that perspective. Maybe we have never truly been alone. Maybe we have never even been the ones doing the watching. And as governments lock away their data as the last trickle of information vanishes behind classified walls, one question echoes louder than any other. If this was their way of introducing themselves, then what comes next? Because perhaps the most terrifying part isn't that we've been found. It's that this could only be the beginning.